Hello and Hello and welcome to my uh, le the third edition of my Let's Play for Seven Saga. Sorry it's so late. Um The little glitch at the beginning there was just my computer being a bit stupid, so let's continue from where we left off last time. I've leveled us up quite a long way now to level eight, and I've my character's advanced quite a lot. I bought both the weapons I talked about earlier. Now I have all these spells. Fire one, which you've already seen. This turns out to be HP Catcher. That's how you pronounce that one. I had to fill in the vowels myself, but... It's actually not too bad now that I've leveled my magic up a bit. Um, now I can um, heal a decent amount of HP each time. It basically drains it from the enemy. This is Ice One, which is self-explanatory. Petrify, which I've never used, because generally in RPGs, a stone spell is useless. I like to call this one Freebird as opposed to Firebird, but it's a Phoenix spell, which summons multiple little phoenixes, which are kind of cool. But it does about the same damage as Fire One. I haven't noticed any real difference anyway, though, when using it. And it costs far more than Fire Two, which I'm assuming to be superior. Just a sec, I'm a, this is my cat, let's see if we just have to sort her out. <laughs> or she's probably going to get annoying. Well, we'll just have to bear this in mind, Demo. She just likes sitting on this bed, so... Just ignore her for now. Uh, we're going to go on a bit of an information gathering thing. I've got the maximum amount of potions I can carry from killing those hermits you saw earlier. I've got an antidote, and I've got everything I basically had last time. As you can notice, my HP and MP have greatly increased. And so have all my other stats. I've got decent, a rather fun amount of jail there. I love that number for varying reasons. And, uh, my experience is quite a lot to level 9, so I've decided to stop there. In case you haven't noticed, my enemy sword has greatly increased my sword abilities to 7, as opposed to the 1 it was originally at. And the cotton clothes have slightly increased my defense. Don't know what XTRI is, but I suppose we'll figure that out when we get something that affects it. And there's my other stats. So far, power and magic are equal, and they seem to be equalizing, but I'm assuming, I'm hoping anyway, that magic becomes more powerful. Because that would at least make this an interesting character to use as a mage. Now we're going to find out stuff to. basically stuff. Um, first of all, we're going to go information gathering, so that we know when the, where the next town is. I know who to talk to. It's this guy. I think. Yeah, we're blessed to the south, so let's go down there. Sorry about that, it's doing us again. <laughs> now let's find out what Fire 2 looks like. If it doesn't do that much. And... Sorry about this, this is really annoying. Magic. That was Norton's fault, by the way. Fire 2. Okay, that was interesting, and very powerful. Hurrah! And that's how much more powerful I've become. Everything drops like a... Well, and that gave up thing is because I can't carry any more potions that won't allow me to take any more, or it'd probably break the game. A bit of mountain range, we're going to have to go a bit west to go for this. Is His wife runs in no problem anymore, as you will soon see. Die. That was good fun, by the way, killing that wyvern after the hell that put me through in the first two installments. And there's the second town. What? No! We kill some more hits on the way. Just... Of course, they're in the way. This isn't going to be another grind video, don't worry. I've made that mistake and I've. This is just to rectify it to find out what's going to happen next. It turns out I forgot more about this game than I thought I had. Turns out you get to a dungeon from the second town, not east from the first. And here we are, Rablesk. 
Yep. Thank you for welcoming me. That was nice of you. Now, it's... Ah, uh, this is the church, I'm assuming. Don't need any of that. There's no one else to talk to, so... Well, at least we know where that is. That could probably come in handy. The gate of the earth is in the southwest, but we can't go that way because it's closed. Ah, the castle of Armin and the key to earth. That's what I need to get. And also to Bone Row afterwards, presumably. That's, I'm assuming that's what's to the south there. Now let's find out what's in here. Ah, it's a pub. Ah, I'll be able to get companions eventually. That'll be interesting. Can't wait to bomb them. There's Gain. Oh, cool. A map if they open the gate. That's nice. If only I knew where to get the key. I knew where the castle is. But for your benefit, I'll find the guy that tells me where it is. There's the armor shop. Ah. I'm falling behind. And the warrior's here first. This is good. Where are all these places? Ah, oh, there's the inn. And I'm going to save it now, and we can go to Castle of Arn next time. And the inn's price has increased, but it's still negotiable. Goodbye.